News Center 6, your source for later news. Welcome to News Center 6. I'm Lauren, and here's your news for today, Thursday, October 26th. Student Athletic Council will host the second annual Track or Treat event Tuesday, October 31st from 5 to 6.30 p.m. at Rice Field. This is a free community event where kids trick or treat in a fun, safe environment. We are looking for different athletic teams and organizations to join us by having treat stations. Please contact Ms. Worsler for more information. The Elkhart Central's National Honor Society offers free homework help at several Elkhart Public Library locations. These sessions are open to anyone. Please bring any necessary materials you will need for us to assist you. The schedule is as follows. Main Library, Mondays 5 to 8, Pier Moran and Dunlap branches, Tuesdays 4 to 7, and Oslo branch, Thursdays 4 to 7. And we will return after these messages. Bryson Sherwood of the Blue Blazer Sports Network. I'm here today with Dylan Bowman of the varsity football team. Deepa, what has been the highlight of your career at Elkhart Central? It's definitely just got to be uh, getting Mangy back this year, first game of the season, reversing the fortunes of what happened the year before, of course, and there's the first game with the new coach and everything, so it gave us a lot to look forward to. What professional football player inspires you the most? It's definitely got to be uh, the left tackle for the Browns, is Joe Thomas. He's just a model of consistency, toughness, and just like grit. Like he's been in the league for 11 years, made the Pro Bowl every year. He hasn't missed a snap. He played 10,266 straight. Even though like ended this Sunday though, but it's definitely got to be him. Cool. Who on the team has improved the most over the course of the season? I definitely got to say uh, Omar Perez. He's our right guard this year. He didn't come in the season starting, but like during the Minji game, he got in and he's just been great so far. Who is the toughest lineman on, on the team for you to go head to head against? It's definitely going to be uh, Steven Lott. He's huge. That's about it. <laughs> I was looking at the team statistics and on the season and saw that you have zero passing yards, rushing, and receiving yards. How do we get Debo the ball? Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with the game plan, but I definitely think it's got to be like a goal line set because you know, I don't, I'm not really fast. I don't got that condition to like, run more than five yards probably. Back in week two, we beat Goshen on a late field goal. This Friday, we host them in the sectional semifinals. What can we expect to see this Friday at Rice Field? We'll definitely be able to see two teams that are insanely prepared the looking forward to advance in this tournament. Thank you for your time, Dylan, and good luck to you and the rest of the team Friday. Be sure to tune in next week for another interview on the Blue Blazer Sports Network. For more info on your favorite Elkhart Central teams, go to ElkhartBlazerSports.com. I'm Bryson Sherwood. was no football at Lucas Oil Stadium today, but hands were still on the field, a band that is, for the Super Regional Band Championship. And 24-hour news agent Julia Ding was there. <laughs> This is honestly the best show that I have been involved in, and this was the best run that we've ever had. We are high-fiving each other and hugging each other. It's like the family togetherness that we had today that really made it that extra kick, because you can't have a marching band without being a family, because then it just goes out of whack. It's really amazing to see how many people are able to come together because of marching band. I love everything, like all the memories that you make, the bus rides uh, to and from competitions. It was very intimidating to see like this big NFL field. Like, oh my goodness, we are going to be on Lucas Oil Stadium. Like, we're marching on this field that everybody else has been on. Like, all these NFL players, all these big people have been on, and we're going to be on it tonight. Doing my salute, I was about to cry. Well, fun times. Indianapolis will also host the Grand National Championships. That competition will happen over three days, November 8th through the 11th. It will also be at Lucas Oil Stadium. And that's all for New Center. New Center is provided in affiliation with the Elkhart Central Library Media Program. We are history. We are the future. We are right now. We are library media. 
For more news, check us out at Blue Blazers on Facebook and Elkhart Blazers on Twitter. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.